All right, welcome back to Pride Plays. In the last episode, we saw an entire gaggle of fish, female, uh, well, actually, that's about all I have to say about them. I'll go ahead and keep it nice. You know, you know, they say not to speak ill of the dead, which I guess spoils the fact that they are dead. Uh, the dogfish got to them, but their sacrifice was not in vain because I survived. And now we're on to our next mini adventure, which is down this way. If you guys recall, when we fought the shit boss, um, you can see when he got flushed, he left like a little area down there. And I remember when he left that area, I said we would come back to it. And it is time to come back to it now. Okay. <sighs> That's really annoying. It drops you back where you first go when you come here. We need to make the shit ball to drop on people. So that's just how you settle differences in this world. I don't know. It's shit mountain. Like, what do you expect? Anyway. Uh, we come down here. It's not the easiest thing. Apparently, uh, those platforms are a little bit more sloped than I realized. So we come over here. Don't worry about fall damage. Just go face first and shit. And, uh, oh, Conquer does not have his mask on, so he is probably, he's probably getting all the smells right now. And we come over here. And Voila! A little door who knows where it leads I know where it leads and if it is where I think it is all right hang on a sec story progression he's like better have a good excuse this time that is the last time he stands me up you tell him Barry I've had a just a bad update who are you look whatever it is you're selling I'm just not interested well well, he's selling her. Just kidding, that was a human trafficking joke. It's a very serious issue, but it's nice to laugh every once in a while. Trying to make light of things makes it a little bit easier to digest. Anyway, um, she's not being sold into human trafficking. Um, you'll see what happens to her later. But first, we have to journey to the spot I'm thinking of. And it actually happens to be my favorite part of the game. So I'm pretty excited for it, and everybody else should be excited for it. We can all be excited together. And this is the part I was thinking of a while ago that fucking sucks. Because you see those blades? All you have to do is touch them. They don't have to cut through you, you just have to touch them. And you get eviscerated. You don't lose chocolate. You know, you don't get a slap on the wrist. You die! You die just like that! And Conker just sits there like, you fucking idiot. And I forgot, I need to press the A button, like, it's not enough that I died, I need to, like, confirm it three times, like, yes, I died, please get on with it. But because you don't lose any chocolate and go straight dead, I don't know why they put all that chocolate right there. So the first one, easy enough. And, again, my death perception in this game is not stellar. <laughs> so this is a, this is a little nerve-wracking. Oh god. Yeah, I hate that part. Like, just trying to understand how close you are to the blades is hard enough. Now, there's that blade up there, but that's not a problem. Yet. Maybe it is a problem. I don't really remember. Again, I haven't played this game in a while. I have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing most of the time, but I don't remember it like part for part. All I know is this place is scary. A lot of scary stuff in this place. Oh, a ladder. Okay. How about I get there without touching the ground? Very nice. Progressing nicely. Um. Okay, so we come up here. Alright, this is a spot where if we came earlier and we didn't have enough cash, um, we wouldn't have been able to pass. But we do have enough cash. So we come over here. Remember these guys when they were sent out to find a squirrel? That dude's doing some business behind the rock. You don't want to know. Math nice. There you go. Thousand dollars. Thank you. Can I get past now? Hey, I'm not 
finished yet. <laughs> We're looking for a squimo. And I think, by the description given to me, that you are a squirrel. I can't believe anybody would send these two out to get a squirrel. Yes, you are. You fit the description perfectly. Oh, really? And, uh, could you describe this description to me? Well, short, red fur, a big bushy tail, and a twitchy nose. You're a squirrel, all right. And you're coming with me. Now watch this. Look, I tell you I'm not a squirrel. Get your hands off me. What are you, then? I'm an elephant. Squirrels aren't short and furry. They're big and gray. What? Oh. Yeah, that's the twitchy noses. They don't have them? <laughs> no, they're long and snouty. And they also have flappy ears. Are you sure? Of <laughs> course I'm sure. <laughs> See ya. Oh. Oh, ah. There's nothing quite like a good sh Okay, thank you. Uh, it's alright, it's alright. That's not a squirrel. He's an elephant. An elephant. You stupid twat. Oh yeah, let's see. <sighs> Conquer, you sly fox! He's got the silver tongue and the wit. He is a force to be reckoned with. Okay, so here we are. That is indeed a Tyrannosaurus Rex with a giant fucking head. And they are dead. Oh, oh, oh. They are deadly. I mean, it'll only take chocolate, but I still, I'd rather just not lose the chocolate. I'd rather just not lose the chocolate. Um, um, what's over here? So I don't really remember where exactly everything is. That looks like nothing. Okay. So let's come over here. Which takes us to low level up. Alright. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna go up another level. Oh, here we are at the top. Some free cash. You know, we're gonna take that. Where the f you been? You change your bastard? Um, I'm here exactly when I'm supposed to be here, so that line doesn't even work. Cool. I can put it for the rest of my dead presidents. Uh, that's an interesting way of looking at a conquer. Thank you. Now here we have uh, Tigger. Or at least it looks like Tigger. Oh, apparently I just do that. And we uh, we smash him down because we don't like how his face looks. It makes us angry. Now these guys are adorable. They're like the minions before the minions. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh, they get into all sorts of shenanigans, but that usually ends in them dying. And they make, uh, they make little grunting noises too. It's freaking adorable. Okay, so we want to go here. But... We come over here, and this big rock cock bastard is being a big rock cock. So we can't do anything about this over here. Oh, get away from me. So instead, we're going to go this way. Maybe. Actually, uh, I think I'd come over here. Um, hmm. Can I get on top of Tony the Tiger's head again? Yep. I have an idea. Alright. Yes. Okay, so we open that, which connects these two sides. And on that side, we have a corridor we can't walk through because it's got enemies. And on this side, we have stupid rock cock bastards. Okay, let's not get the ones that are all grouped up there. Okay. Did he just throw up? That's fucking disgusting. Alright, come over here. Am I doing this right? Ow! 
And he threw up on me, just to make things worse. Oh, here we go. This is who we want. Yeah. Alright. This dude's just taking a little nap. As a boulder. But we need his help, so we're gonna go ahead and recruit him. And his buddies are gonna try and stop us. He's gonna be like, you don't know him. What are you leaving the bar with him for? Oh, God. Won't you guys go away? Almost there. Almost there. Uh... Okay. Alright, we pretty much made it. So we roll this big guy over here through the tunnel. He's very heavy, as Conker says, so it's gonna take us a little while. Yep, right there, right there, and we roll it down. <laughs> and these guys. Pretty much just cannon fodder. Uh, <laughs> there's just something so hilarious about uh, panicking cavemen to me. I don't know what it is. Anyway, next time on Pride Plays, we get to hear my favorite song in this whole uh, game. And we get to, which pretty much makes it my favorite part of the game. So get excited for that. But thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.